This right here is the best barbell on planet Earth for beginners. The company Lions Cool sent me out a training barbell to show off for you guys so you can have another option of something to buy for your home gym or just maybe have as an option to even bring to a local gym for yourself. Let me give you my quick first impressions of this and actually show you a bunch of exercises that they literally were kind enough to make into a poster and basically everything you need to know to work out for the rest of your life. So if you don't like your personal trainer, guess what? You can buy this barbell and fire them because they have got you covered. All joking aside, if you like your personal trainer, keep going with it, but there's a lot of apathetic personal trainers out there. And uh, I want you saving your time and money, which is why I'm helping you out here basically for free. So if you got internet, you're in good hands. And if you know somebody who doesn't have internet, but would appreciate this, maybe buy them a barbell and we'll go ahead and get started. This barbell is perfect for beginners for a few different reasons. The first one is that it has a very non-aggressive knurling. A lot of barbells, when we talk about knurling, have very abrasive grip here, where sometimes it feels like sandpaper and it just tears your hands to shreds. I remember one time I was working out and I had a barbell that was so aggressive that it actually ripped an entire chunk of skin off my finger. It was bleeding everywhere. It was nasty. Thankfully, this barbell will not do that where you probably won't even need to wear gloves when you are doing it. So if you're a beginner and you got kind of fragile hands and don't really want to do it, this is a good option. Another thing too that I really like about this is it has really good bearings and it spins pretty darn well. Bearing are really important to allow you to do specific exercises like cleans which not a lot of beginners would do but nonetheless it's still a good option to have good bearings if you want to make these spin a little bit better you can kind of put some wd-40 on it and just spin it like this almost like you're milking a cow udder. i don't know who does that anymore i live in the midwest shout out to any midwesterners out there long story short great bearings um, i also really like the color of this too it is 32 pounds so most normal barbells at the gym are 45 pounds. So a lot of people might not even be able to do that when they're doing bench press or even doing something like a row like this. So this gives you a really good option. Another really cool thing about this is they sent two collars with it. Sometimes with barbells, they don't even send collars with it. So you could have a bunch of weight, but you're like, I don't know what to do because I'm not going to put a bunch of weight on and have it just fall off. They've got you covered with two collars. They don't send any weight with it, but that's okay. Weight's pretty cheap and you can find a bunch of good, high quality weights that are usually pretty low cost on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or you can just buy some new ones online. They're pretty cheap, especially cast iron. If you get some cast iron ones, those are going to be cheaper than steel. So just check those out online and on Amazon. This bar is $110, free shipping on Amazon. As far as I know, if you want to go check out their website, lionscool.com, but they have a really good Amazon profile. And for any of those of you who have prime shipping, you can get this literally sent to your house in two days. I think I requested to have this sent about two days ago and they sent it. So once again, this is a sponsored post, but, 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 but they're not paying me any money. I just said, Hey, if you want to send this out for me, I can show it off on my channel for beginners and you can send me the barbell and that'll be it you can use the content so that's kind of this relationship no money is being made from this other than the adsense revenue i'm not even taking an affiliate code all the money purchased from this with the link in the description will go straight directly to them that's the barbell great piece of barbell i'm going to show you all of these exercises on the routine so if you want to go buy one of these go ahead and do it right now link in the description if you want to stay tuned uh there's like let's see here I don't even know. There's a bunch of exercises. I'm going to show you how to do all of them in a really quick and confined manner. So first one on here is the biceps curl. This one's super simple. Basically, you're going to grab this guy about shoulder width apart. Just bend at your elbows, come up, come down, no momentum at all. The next one is reverse curl, exact same as a bicep curl, except you're going to flip your hands over. Same exact thing, elbows locked, up, down so that one the main difference is, is your uh, palms are going to be down which is going to work your wrist extensor muscles a little more it's a little bit harder of an exercise military press that's an overhead press you're going to come up to this on your shoulders like this you can tuck your chin in a little bit then you're going to push that barbell up overhead it's kind of hard for me because i don't have much space overhead try to keep your wrists in line, neck in line. And then when you're coming back down, lift your head back. Also try not to arch your back on this. Keep your back nice and straight. Next exercise is bench press. I can't really demonstrate that. I'll do it on the ground. We'll do a floor press variation. 
So normally bench press, you would actually be sitting down on a bench. A lot of you probably already know this exercise. So this would be kind of good because you'll see a different one. So floor press, same concept as bench, except your elbows are going to be touching the ground. So it's kind of like a half range of motion. Still really good exercise to hammer your triceps and just work your chest in a slightly different plane of motion. T-bar row. I don't have my T-bar set up exactly, but basically a T-bar is going to leverage this into a corner. I actually have a little corner here. And then essentially you can do this a few different ways. So I'll just show you this one. You're going to pull that barbell up to your chest, slowly down. This will work your back. You can do this single arm, both arms. You can do this on the side of it too. A lot of different variations for the T-bar. Uh, front raise, front raise. All right. So front raise, you're going to have both of your hands like this. Your arms are going to be nice and straight. And then you're basically just ring it up. This is a really hard exercise for 32 pounds. So I would maybe just start with um, uh, some dumbbells or even just your hands, but straight arms, try to not use momentum. That'll work the front of your shoulders. Sit up, press. Oh, that's a new exercise. I haven't heard that one before. It sounds interesting. We'll try it. All right, so you're gonna go down here and then sit up, press. It looked like they just had you maybe sit up and then press overhead. Ooh, yeah. That's an advanced one. If you're a beginner, I probably wouldn't try that one. Again, maybe you can do it with, um, uh, what's the word? You can do it with just your hands, for example, but that one's pretty tough. Uh, seated twist. Okay, so seated twist. They have this barbell on your back. I don't have a chair over here, so I'll show you the same movement, just standing. So they basically had you sitting hypothetically, and then it was just kind of a gentle trunk rotation. So this will work the core muscles through the side of your core, side to side, seated or standing twist, upright row, upright row, hand shoulder width apart, keeping your back nice and straight, pull it up to your chest, slowly down. A lot of people have pain in the shoulders when you do this. So go as high as you comfortably can without any pain. Barbell shrug, arms nice and straight, shrugging your shoulders up and down. Super simple, skull crusher. Um, I'm not going to get on the ground. They had this one on the ground for you. So I'm going to show you an overhead variation called a tricep overhead extension. Elbows are going to be like this. You're just extending your elbows, coming back down. That's pretty demanding on the elbows. So reference this sheet for the uh, skull crusher variation, side bend. So this is going to work the core. Your barbell is going to be on your back once again and good proper position make sure this is even and then you're just going to bend side to side very slowly very carefully if you have weight on the side make sure those clips are on otherwise you can guess where the weight's going to go seated twist oh we already did that one. Oh no that was oh huh oh, i see what i did so ab rollout is the next one this one's going to have the barbell on the ground like so and then basically you're just going to Make sure I got space here. You're going to let that bar roll forward. And this is really going to work your core. Oh, boy. Man, I already worked my core a bunch today. So that one's going to work your core and your shoulders. Pretty difficult exercise there. Try to control it. Keep your spine nice and straight. Landmine twist. We'll go back to our fake landmine here. Landmine twist. Here we go. Side to side. Arms nice and straight. One beautiful very nice the z press Ooh, this looks good okay so i do a variation of the z press with dumbbells but basically what you're going to do is sit down on the ground you might want to have a friend work with you show you this one and then you're going to bring the barbell up to your shoulders again pull that neck back like we were doing earlier with that uh, uh initial overhead press coming up coming down this is going to take a lot of shoulder mobility and core strength. Let's see before I sit up. Barbell squat. Okay, so we're doing some lower body stuff next. Good. Lower body is my favorite. I got long noodle arms, so I uh, bias my training towards lower body because I like working out lower body. Barbell back squat. This is going to be on your back. Squatting. You're bending your hips and knees at the same time while keeping your chest up. Knees and hips at the same time. Keeping your chest up, up and down. Go as low as you comfortably can without pain. What do we got next? Uh, hack squat. Oh, this one's interesting. Oh, oh, it's behind you. Okay, so I'm going to step behind this barbell. It's kind of crazy. This is more of a workout than I thought it was going to be today. That's so going to be behind you, and then you could have weight on this, or you're going to lower this down. This is actually pretty good if you're trying to keep 
your spine uh, nice and neutral and not bend over too much. So if you have back pain, this might be a decent variation for you. Uh, just make sure maybe you have a bar set behind you so you can kind of dump that or drop it behind you if you need. So back, back squat, hip thrust. Okay, so this one's gonna be on the ground. Actually, we're gonna do the good morning and barbell lunge first. So good morning. This one's going to have the barbell on your back, and then you're going to bend your knees a tiny bit, but then that's all your knees are bending. After that, your butt's going straight back, chest going forward, back nice and straight, squeezing your butt to stand up nice and tall. Good for the lower back and glutes. Next one, a lunge. You're going to take a big step forward, try to keep 90-90 on your knees, push up through that front knee. Other side, same concept. Lunge, go down, up. You can do those alternating. You can do them kind of straight through, whatever variation is good for you. We're going to go back down to the ground now for those hip thrusts. Show you this. Man, I'm so out of breath. Ooh, hopefully you're getting some value from this because this was <laughs> exhausting. This is going to be across your pelvic bone. Um, if you uh, don't have a strong position or if this is on your bone, you can get kind of like a, a yoga mat or one of those um, barbell pads here to do this. Squeezing that butt, bringing that guy up nice and uh, tall. If you put your uh, scapula against a, a bench, you can increase the range of motion of that, make it a little bit tougher. But if you're a beginner, that's probably a good start. So glute bridge, hip thrust. Um, okay, so it actually has hip thrust is the one where your back is on the bench. Glute bridge is when your back is on the ground. So I showed you a glute bridge, but hip thrust is the same thing, just elevated. Um, box squats on there. We'll stand up. So box squat is the exact same thing as a normal squat, except you're going to have a chair behind you to sit down. So that's a good variation. Just imagine a chair behind me. You're going to sit down, kind of leaning back into it, standing up. Good variation if you're first starting out trying to learn how to do squats. Uh, barbell step up. I don't have, oh, I can actually pull this. So I don't have this ready, but I'll pull it really quick. So a step up. And I'll actually show you a box squat too since I got this. So we'll do the box squat first. This is a really low box for box squats. So yours is probably going to be a little bit uh, taller. But you're going to lean back. You can even literally lean back in the chair and then kind of rock forward. It's going to help with that little extra bit of momentum. And you're going to be able to trust yourself more and practice trusting leaning back by literally sitting down. Uh, box squat is that one. Step up. Super simple, guys. Up here push through that leg, come down, try to limit pushing off with that leg. Of course, do this on both sides. You can even do a step down variation where you're staying up there and that's to start. You can do this on the side. You can do this going forward, all legs, all sides. Great options for you. Standing calf raise, super, super easy. Barbell is going to be on your back again, coming up on your tiptoes slowly down easy peasy works your calves stiff leg deadlift this one's what we call a hinge from a romanian deadlift knees are going to be slightly bent after that just like we did earlier uh, kind of like the good morning you're just bending over at the back butts going back letting that weight ride down your legs squeezing your butt keeping that back nice and straight as you stand up nice and tall just let the weight ride down your body keep your back nice and straight that's as easy as it is for that Always film yourself too. Filming yourself will make this 10 billion times easier. Uh, that's all the lower body exercises. Now we got full body. So we'll get rid of this guy. At least put it to the side for now. So the next full body exercise on there, it actually said is deadlift. So normally on a barbell deadlift, you're actually going to start with the weight on the ground. And then the movement is coming up, putting the weight down. I don't have weight on this, so it's kind of like a normal deadlift. But if you had weight on it, the weight's gonna start on the ground. That's a normal deadlift, just like a regular uh, RDL. Sumo deadlift is where you do a normal deadlift. So again, the weight's gonna be on the ground, but you start with a wider stance. So this is gonna force your back to be a little more upright. It's gonna work your quads just a tiny bit more and your lower back a little bit less. It's still gonna work your lower back glutes and quads, just like a normal conventional deadlift still works your lower back glutes and quads. It's just the ratio of which muscles are being worked. Romanian deadlift, I basically just showed that. Overhead squat, I'm surprised they even put this one in here. This is really tough on mobility for everyone. So I'm gonna show you uh, my best effort. Ooh, go down. If that's too hard, you can bring in some heel lifts. 
and I'm not going to do it, but basically you're going to have, oh, maybe I can, you're going to have a heel, a uh, heel lift, and that's going to make your ankle mobility, oh, that was really tough, hopefully that impressed you. It's going to raise your heel a little bit, which makes it a little bit easier on your ankle mobility, which for a lot of people, you can do full overhead squats with that elevated heel. Oh, let's keep moving here. Overhead squat, front squat, okay, that was actually the first exercise I did at the start of this video. Shout out if you're still here from the start of this video. All the way down here, front squat, feet hip width apart, toes slightly pointed out, chest up. Again, any squat, bending your hips and knees at the same time, super simple. Keeping that chest up going as low as you can, all the way up and down. If you can only do half squats, that's okay. Totally start there. So if I just click the mic, mess with things. High pull. So this is a variation of a Olympic lifting exercise. So this will work your power. Get in a uh, top of the deadlift stance. So when you finish a deadlift, you end right here. You're then going to bend your hips, ankles, and knees a tiny bit, and then you're going to explode. You're going to explode, shrug, and then pull this up to your chest. So in one foul movement, explode, pull, explode, pull. Great exercise to work your overall power and strength. Zercher squats. This one is going to be kind of uncomfortable. You're basically going to get that barbell in the nooks of your elbows. You can kind of go into a prayer position or a uh, prayer position, either one. Um, God bless America on this one, because this one's very tough on your glutes. Same thing as a normal squat, going all the way down. Once you get down here, your elbows might even touch your knees, so you might have to go a little wider with your knees. Very tough exercise. Don't feel like you need to do that one day one, because uh, I don't even do that one, because it's very uncomfortable. Clean and jerk, wow, they're getting some complex exercises in this one. We'll show you the best I can. So clean and jerk is an exercise if you're really interested in doing, I'd recommend looking up an Olympic weightlifting coach, um, Richmond Elite Performance in Quad Cities. Uh, we got a really good weightlifting coach, Garrett Richmond. Uh, so uh, hit him up for sure, richmondeliteperformance.com, I think. Sorry, Jared, if I butchered that. Anyway, long story short, this is going to start um, actually kind of down here, kind of in that starting deadlift position, or you can start it right up here. This is what we call the hang. We'll show you from the hang. And then what you're going to do, just like that high pull, you're gonna explode, but instead of just coming up, you're actually going to then drop under the bar and put your elbows through, okay? So I'll show you really quick. Drop up, okay? Do it one more time. Clean, so that's the clean portion. And then the jerk is where you basically are gonna bend your knees, push the bar overhead, and then bend your knees a little more to catch it, okay? So I'm gonna show you really quick. Bend your knees, overhead, bend the knees a little more to catch. Very complex exercise. It's taken me three to four years to get even fairly proficient at it. So again, hire a weightlifting coach if you wanna learn those types of things. Push press. All right, this is a good one. This is actually good to work the timing of that jerk. So the bar is gonna start at your uh, clavicle right here, resting on the clavicle, hands under it, chin back a tiny bit. Then you're kind of like a spring. You're going up and down. You're not going forward, not going back. Up and down like a spring. You can kind of feel this out. Go down. And then once you come up, you're going to push through your calves like you're doing a calf raise and push the bar overhead down, up. And that's going to give you a little extra juice than just doing a normal military press. This is a lot more strict, not using as much muscles. This exercise is going to work your basically full body, but it's really going to work your power development as well. What do we got here? I mean, this is exhausting. Two more exercises, power snatch and hang clean. Um, they they are really making me work today. All right, power snatch. We'll, we'll try my best here. So you're going to go have the barbell. Basically grab it as far as you can out there. You're then going to bend your knees slightly. This is going to be just like the clean, where the clean, you are extending your hips, knees, and ankles, bringing it up to your clavicle. Same exact concept for the snatch, except the difference with this is when you extend your hips, knees, and ankles and shrug, you're going to finish with it overhead and your elbows nice and locked okay so down right here and then i'm going to extend my hips knees and ankles and shrug at the same time boom there you go power snatch if you want to do that one that's actually a great exercise i'll show you a quick uh, regression if you have a dumbbell you can do power snatches uh, with the dumbbell or this weight same thing you're going to start right here boom Woo. sorry <laughs> uh so long story short um, you can do that. I just need more headspace in here. I need to punch these out. Anyway, 
Um, you can do that with two dumbbells. You can um, do it with a weight. You can literally just do it with your hand. If you're like an elderly person or just one somebody who wants to just try the timing, you can still get that good power development from just doing it with your hand. Um, do it with your hand. Don't think too far into that, you dirty minds out there. Uh, last one, hang clean. Okay, perfect. So we actually already did this one, um, but this one's going to have me squatting. So when I did the first one before, it was a power clean. The power position is where you land in a half squat. And normally that's good for beginners. But if you really want to max out your Olympic weightlifting, again, hire an Olympic weightlifting coach. We try to get you into a full clean. A full clean is when you catch it and land in a deep squat position. Okay. So a hang clean means starting from the hang, as in the bar is off the ground when you start. Holding it right here. You're going to extend hips, knees, and ankles, shrug, and then once the bar hits your clavicle or on the way to hitting your clavicle, you're gonna pull it in your clavicle, you're gonna land in the squat position. So ready, set, go. Land very slow, all the way up. Bada bing, bada boom. That was absolutely exhausting. Um, I think I definitely deserve for you to like the video, share this with somebody who's just starting out weightlifting. 2024, we are going to get as many people on planet Earth into lifting and I think Lions Cool uh, can definitely do that. In addition to my channel and all the other channels out there, thank you so much for watching. Be all strong.